safety has been a hotly debated issue in sports over the years, and there is a lot of work being done to make sports safer. Concussions and their long-term impact have been at the center of this conversation, and it is the main focus of many leaders in the field of sports safety. Oh, we've known for a very long time that concussions are bad for you and they can be cumulative, but we didn't really operationalize that knowledge in any significant way. On this episode of Future Sport, the next big thing, thepostgame.com explores how technology is making sports safer by helping to detect and prevent concussions. Well, one of the things that we know without question is that no head trauma is good head trauma. Uh, you cannot condition the brain to take trauma, you can only injure it. When I was an athlete my whole life and uh, never had a diagnosed concussion as an athlete, uh, whether it was soccer or football or basketball. I went on to be a pro wrestler. Sports Legacy was formed by Chris Nowinski, who was then a patient of mine. I got a concussion in the summer of 2003 from a kick to the head that I aggressively ignored and until I got so bad with post-concussion syndrome that I had to stop. And by that point, I had done so much damage that I, I didn't get better for uh, you know, five years. Because we didn't have you know, that really hard evidence of what was going on in the cellular level because the science just you know, wasn't there, people ignored the problem. Head Games was a very effective documentary, heightened the awareness greatly of the concussion problem. Head Games, the documentary, was uh, was based off of a book I wrote in 2006, Head Games Football's Concussion Crisis. Until we started changing things three or four years ago, we were hitting athletes in the head more frequently and harder than we ever had in the history of sports. On you, on you, on you. We now have enough evidence to convince people that the brain is uh, very fragile and needs time to recover after trauma. So there are real long-term consequences. We're starting to wrap our arms around it. One of the problems right now is there's no data. There's absolutely no information on the sideline as to what's actually happening to a player's head. And technology allows us to record how many hits the head is seen over the course of a practice, a month, a season. No problem gets solved in the absence of information. And this is the I-1 mouth guard, which is the next big thing in sports safety. The circuit board sits here. In the front is the antenna and a radio infrastructure so the mouth guard can communicate in real time to the sidelines. Whether it be accelerometers in headbands, in mouth guards, in football helmets, those accelerometers are what are going to be recording the hits to the head. Linear and rotational acceleration are critical to understanding what's happening to a player on a field. We put our products through intensive testing. The system works in real time. It allows a trainer to see every single hit that an athlete experiences. That trainer can set thresholds by individual player as to when that player should be least examined. Another way that Sports Legacy have thought to use the technology is modeling it after a pitch count in baseball. They found that kids who threw too much increased their risk of wearing out their ulnar collateral ligament in their elbow and having to have surgery. And so they set a strict limits to how many times you can throw off of a baseball mound set by aid. And every coach now owns a clicker and writes it down and sends it into the central office. And everyone's bought into it. We looked at that and said, God, this is a great idea, but it's much more important to do that for the brain. Because right now we really have no limits to how often the child can be hit in the head in a sport. And we know that there's enormous variation about which football program you play for, which soccer program you play for, how many times you'll be hit in the head. And so we do believe that for the younger population of athletes, it's every bit, if not more important, to understand the impacts that they're experiencing. And frankly, this hit count notion is a lifetime notion. Hopefully be standard practice in the future. Yes, the, the beauty of these new products coming forward is that they're relatively inexpensive. Obviously, you can't be buying the $1,000 helmets with a hit system in it and outfit your high school team, certainly not a youth team. But with these sensors selling for under $100, it is possible. There is still a lot of progress that needs to be made to prevent serious head injuries, but technology is clearly making sports safer. Thanks for watching this episode of Future Sport, the next big thing, presented by Samsung.